the, the project is to, uh, for example, at the police department, you know, we have one area where the public frequents daily, which is our records department area. And there, there was a camera added there that captures everything that goes on there. And because of some concern from some of the employees, there has been concessions or adjustments made. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, in the utility office, they didn't, even though the camera wouldn't read a monitor, they didn't feel easy about it. So it's been, they're going to block that out. Correct. Uh, at the main <coughs> lobby, where uh, that's one of the situations there, they relocate the camera to view, and it's not to look at the employee, it's what is in front of the employee when people come and go to the work area. My, my question comes about in that I would make a, a decision for you as to what you need for your police officers. I would make a decision for, for Mark what he needs for his employees. I would ask for <coughs> input from him and from his people as to what they might need. And I just think that the, the, the same thing should hold true throughout uh, the entire organization. That uh, the people that are in those offices, if they weren't given input, they probably should have been allowed at least a say so of what their feelings were. And you know, yes. to the, uh, let me ask a question, Donna. Mm -hmm. uh, your, your office is a good example. Are you satisfied where the camera is? And is and what's there, the question is not about whether it's satisfied. The question is, will they allow input? Okay, were you allowed input? Um, when they came in and was installing it, I asked them what they were doing because I wasn't aware we were going to have them inside. And when we discussed it, when mm -hmm. we directed it, I'm satisfied with it. Yes. So, you know, if, I think they tried to satisfy the associate with the employee. Okay. I might add, too, I did raise question about the monitors because we can't let any of that information go outside the office. Right. And I still have to go over to Brian's to make sure that they can't zoom in on it and be able to see a screen. I've looked at Jane, that's what she's got, but I have not went over to the police department to see if they have any different software or different capabilities. I'm assuming it's all the same. What, what procedures have we that. put in place in regards to who will be doing the monitors? Well, in the dispatch center, they have limited access. They, they have the ability yeah. to, to look at any of the cameras. They need to. But they, they cannot make any adjustments or do right. any administrative type things. There's uh, there's only four people with administrative rights that can actually get in and adjust settings or do things, things mm -hmm. like that. Can they zoom in? They're, they do have some capabilities. Can they can zoom, zoom in now. like Jenna can up here. Yes. And it, usually that's going to be, I think the term is pixelated. If they zoom in for viewing, they're not going to get a real clear shot as far as when, if they're monitoring a camera. For example, if somebody was walking down this hallway <coughs> and they wanted to zoom in on that live, it's probably going to be pixelated where they couldn't see it. But if there were if, if there was an event that happened and we wanted to go back and burn a uh, burn a copy of that and view it, then in viewing we could burn in and clearly see what happened. That's how it was explained to me. How and how long can you go back? Roughly six months. We still don't know because the system's new. They expect the um, the hard drive to hold about six months worth of memory. Are you happy with what we purchased to this point? Oh, absolutely, I am more than happy. Good. The, the quality is tremendous, and, and this is basically a duplication from what the county did at the, at the jail several years ago. Only you know things change. Technology, uh, I think, it's just tremendous. And, and you know, I really encourage every person here at City Hall who works in this building to go to the police station and see what is being monitored at the police station. And I want them to be easy about, feel easy about this. This is not to watch them; it's to protect them. You know, if they're here and after <coughs> the building. I really want everybody. 
Janet, I said Janet has a monitoring system and bird desk as well. And I know that's an unsettling thing with, with a lot of people and, and with my records clerk Sandy, it was with her. Uh, but once her and I discussed the reasons behind it and she came to grips with it, uh, you know, she understands it's, it's for the better of her and everyone with the activities that take place there and, and she, she's adjusted to it and she just kind okay of with a, a sideline to your, your comment. Um, the previous school corporation I came from, when we put cameras in, there was this concern about Big Brother watching. Mm -hmm. And they come to find that having those cameras there was a greater benefit to the staff than it was to the security in the fact that if a teacher would happen to get accused of something and show it on the camera, Nothing like that appeared. That was in, in their best interest. You're absolutely right, Dr. King. There are far mm -hmm. more benefits than anything else. And, absolutely. You know, that's the world we live in. There's cameras on grocery stores, gas stations, <coughs> school buses. There's cameras everywhere. And uh, banks, you know, people work on cameras all the time. Uh, and we've proven by <coughs> events that's happened in the past few years when we seeing those events on on camera, so to speak. <coughs> they were proving the, pe the, the people that made those complaints wrong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So they're extremely beneficial. I think it was a great place <coughs> for the city. Anything else? Thank you. Just a comment, Chief. Uh, just want to express our appreciation for what you all have done the past month, 45 days with the drug arrest made a uh, high awareness of the uh, community, too. Um, I know there's been a lot of hours put into that, a lot of publicity for that. I think it's a great thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pass on. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Appreciate your staff. It's been a, a <coughs> unselfish effort by not just our department, but other departments that's, that we've been in partnership with, as the, the papers have, have been writing about it. And that effort will continue with the resources that we have. And we'll continue to to work as hard as we can. And you've certainly put a bit down. Appreciate that. Thank you. Next time we're doing Gary Murray, Wind Street update. Good evening. Hopefully you've seen a lot of progress on Lincoln Street the past, since the past meeting. Um, since then, we've added uh, two more coats of asphalt uh, along the east side, north of 5th Street. Um, we just met last week with the Redevelopment Commission, and they're deciding to wait to put that surface layer down, which is the last inch and a half, until the entire project's done. So we'll be running on the pavement that you see there, and there will be a little inch and a half lip when you go over the curb or into some driveways. Uh, but we, we're planning on having a temporary strike, and uh, we'll be running on that by November 1. Continuing work on the light at Barrister Lane, uh, putting up the new stone poles and things. So that's why we have not opened that up yet. Uh, Is that the number one? Yes. Barrister. Yes. And um, they're continuing uh, south down by the hospital, installing the remainder of the water line. I'll uh, be we'll thinking that's about 50 feet past that south drive. And then as soon as they complete that, they're going to start doing the temporary widening on the east side so they can shift everybody over on that southern portion and then uh, start some storm work. It's hopefully over the winter, uh, starting a gas creek coming up behind the hospital. So that's where we're at uh, with the project. Uh, they're continuing to do uh, sidewalks and driveways uh, on that north part, uh, northeast section. To have all that and you know, saw it in and everything, uh, we're pretty much done on the north half here within the next 30 days. I just want to go to the parish I had a resident from that area approach me last night asking about, said the parish lane is blocked with uh, a piece of machinery. It is. He was asking, is there any way they could do that differently so that if there is a fire or an emergency, that the emergency... There are two cones on...